Welcome to Accessible Europe 2019 in Malta. And please welcome Mr. Simao Campos, Councillor of ITUT, SG16, which develops multimedia standards. Good morning and welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And my first question would be, why are standards so important for ICT accessibility? Can you explain what the role ITU plays in that space and what is foreseen for the future? Sure, my pleasure. ITU is the United Nations Agency for ICTs. So uh, one of the main tasks we have is to develop technical standards. Um, as a main application of these technical standards is to ensure interoperability, scalability, and uh, to make sure that uh, people have access to the information on how to best implement certain technologies. Accessibility is a tool for inclusion. So accessibility addresses the needs of uh, what is estimated 10% of the population in the world. Uh, but many times this is, these are marginalized populations or they are uh, many times left aside. So the inclusion of persons with disabilities is very important. Uh, one of the tools that we have is to share the knowledge on how to implement the best techniques. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities um, recognizes one basic, one key idea, which is the universal design. That means that uh, uh, when people are developing uh, new products, new services, um, they should include accessibility from the beginning of the design. Uh, because that makes it much Perhaps cheaper. with more awareness that will happen. Yes, and uh, uh, it's important to know that you have to do that, but then how to do it? What's the best way of doing that? When you have standards, people come to technical groups, experts, they discuss what's the best way around uh, the implementation and how to do this work. And so you capture already from the best minds and they write the specifications in a way that you facilitate entity A or B or C to implement those services. In the end, what is very important is uh, when you have communication systems to allow the interconnection. So let's say that the manufacturer A produces, implements something, uh, or use a certain chain of production of accessible audiovisual uh, content that the next person in the chain will be able to use that. That's the interoperability, that people can take that content and reuse it without much rework of the workflow. This will have issues of, I mean, facilitated scales can be reused more and so on. For uh, the telephone system, how, uh, or uh, the so-called relay systems that where you have a, per a deaf person trying to communicate with, let's say, a doctor who does not see, uh, cannot do sign language or cannot uh, use other techniques. So you need to have, uh, there is a service called relay services that have a communication assistant in the middle is institutionally provided. So you normally by the state or someone uh, delegated by the state to provide that service. Um, and there is a series of communication elements into that process to allow it to work. So what kind of protocols, so things of te technical nature. Um, so the standards allow for that, for scale, interoperability, and the exchange of, of good practices uh, so that everyone can learn how to do things in a more efficient way. People are many times saying there is a lot of cost, so knowing how to do it best gives more confidence for, for people to go and implement something that they know that they're going to be able to market. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, future work and things that are uh, ahead, I think that uh, one of the key issues that we, we hear uh, in, in, uh, in here is that uh, uh, not only in the Accessible Europe, but uh, I was in the Accessible America uh, uh, two weeks ago in Quito, uh, also an ITU event. Uh, and uh, uh, the issue of how to measure the quality of services is a key issue. I mean, there are some, uh, uh, the techniques and methods on how to measure, for example, what's the quality of the captioning in audiovisual content on over-the-air television. Uh, how you measure that. There are many parameters. Uh, there is a consensus needed there on how to measure that. Uh, we see a lot of uh, new technology, for example, the use of artificial intelligence for, let's say, let's stick with uh, using the captioning example, where people would capture the voice that is being said, 
uh, and automatically generating the, 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 the caption, the subtitles on the screen for that content. Uh, how you ensure, how you measure that at least the quality of that service is good enough so that someone that in, uh, you know, is making the decision, am I going to use this or not? Mm. Uh, I think you right gave us a lot of food for thought, Mr. Yes. Campos. So and I, I think I this, really this is a future area for work, yes. I, I, I really thank you. A lot, of, a lot of things to ponder on. Thank you very much. You're welcome.